Texas venue Ridgely Theater bans the band Terror and maybe all hardcore after a security incident. I know that Fuzz has been dying to talk about this one. Today's video is sponsored by Sennheiser. And if you want a pair of headphones made by Sennheiser, you can go down to the description and click the link and there will be several options for headphones made by Sennheiser. And if you want to purchase a pair of those, type in the discount code 10 nerding out and you'll get 10% off. Thanks for listening to Sennheiser and thanks for watching nerding out. Fuzz, do you want to do you know about this story and what actually happened? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to hear you talk um, about it. There's a video too. There's a video okay. if you can find it. So let's let's just catch us up on it first because I don't think I I've heard about what has been happening, but I didn't know the semantics of what caused it all. So, so I'm going to go way back to about, um, I'd say about a year ago, a, year ago, uh -huh. uh, a venue, Ridgely Theater, okay, uh, called like the Ridgely Side Room, whatever. Anyway, not important. They were having this uh, metal festival, this hardcore festival at Ridgely, about eight months ago, band came on stage. They're called Zulu. Um, Zulu's fucking they're sick. They're <laughs> sick as fuck. And the sound guy at uh, Ridgely put on... Put on what? You cut out a little bit. Put on, put on a MAGA hat. Uh, you know, make America great again. Oh, hat. fuck that guy. Ouch not have it on until this band on stage he put it on then all sh all hell broke loose mm -hmm. and somebody was like all, all my friends and like the hardcore scene were like man fuck Ridgely fuck Ridgely fuck Ridgely okay whatever so I saw terror at the Ridgely side room not too long ago the big deal they ask for Dives. It's what they do. It's what they've always done. Right. Terror has played at Ridgely Theater several times. I have seen them there, and they do the same thing. Stage dives. Stage dives. Stage dives. That's what they do. Mm. And um, so apparently the owner was pissed off. Scott was asking people to stage dive. Uh, then, you know, Mike to one of the crowd members, and he was singing, and he was trying to get the mic back, and one of the security guards grabbed the mic and said something like, Not today! Or something fucking Ooh. stupid. Yeah. So now the owner of Ridgely, and I didn't know a hardcore band was on the bill. Oh, I mean, Terra's played there multiple fucking times. I don't know how you don't know there's a hardcore band on the bill. And, and Terra's been around for fucking ever. Yeah. And so now he is, he was talking shit, of course, you know, about hardcore music, blah, blah, blah. But now he's banning all hardcore Ridgely, which is probably the movie they're going to shut down now because you can't live on shows that thumb screws playing mike you know what i'm talking about <laughs> uh, yeah, thumb screw and i mean so, th th uh, th th thumb screw was sick but still uh, like thumb screw know, stood I mean, me yeah. stood us up when i booked them one time so, oh yeah, shit that's cool <laughs> yeah there's i'm playing shows but all in all this shit dick fuck face that owns ridgely <laughs> ridgely theater yeah bad. and now third string has pulled out all of their from Ridgely. Oh, I didn't know that. Probably. Incredible. Good for them. They like a week after it happened, they posted a thing that was like here on out all shows at Ridgely's ha have been moved for venues that we will no longer be doing business with Ridgely. Nice. That's dope. And he goes on to say like I sent you guys the whole the whole thread. He goes on to say like how unsafe this is and and so on and so forth. And it's like, man, if you've been booking metal shows yeah. long, like, 
talking about? Like, how fucking stupid are you? Yeah. 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 So, all in all, this guy can eat shit, die, and lung cancer for all I fucking care. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck him. He's an idiot, and and he just he fucked his whole business over, and now and now he's still on the internet whining and crying about it, and it's just like, dude, just shut the fuck up. You 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 did it. Shut the fuck up. Uh, so what other like what do they book other than like hardcore? Is that their main? I don't know avenue or like what's. Oh, like they book all shows. Like yeah, I've played a festival there. Mike's played a festival there with the Chariot. We've played. I've played with first there. I've played with so many bands there. It's there's right. there was no one genre. They play everybody has played there. Dude, oh, is this it? Alright. Yeah. Let's watch oh, hold uh, on, hold on. Yeah, let's watch this. The video. Get up! See him through Whoa. the mic. Watch right here. Was that the security guy that shoved the person? It was. Yeah. Rewind it a little bit and you can see it. So he shoved somebody like right before him. Yeah. That's what the whole thing started was he pushed they're supposed to catch the crowd surfers and they just shove them back. Did you see yeah. him? Yeah, he threw way. he threw up the mic and as soon as he threw up the mic he got the guy got shoved. See look he missed it by just an inch and then the security guard wraps it up and he goes I don't think so like and then and then politely hands it back wow come on man it's well, there's been a lot of problems at this venue uh alleged racism I'm not gonna say they are or they aren't I've just heard a lot of things about the people that work it. not the greatest people in the world but huh. you know well, didn't, they are didn't, on. didn't originally get shut down for a little while because of like a K2 ring that was fucking. <laughs> <laughs> dude, wow. What is dude, this fucking 2008? I'm I'm I serious. hope so. I'm, I'm Delta serious. 9 came in and I'm ruined pretty sure. everything. No, after. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure after that festival that we played there, I think. What was it? It was probably like 2011 or something. Long shit, time right? ago. Yeah, dude. Two, it was a long time yeah, yeah. ago. <laughs> But yeah, 2010, 2011, or whatever. I remember hearing that uh, a little, like some years after that. They were like, it was like originally wasn't doing any shows. Uh, there wasn't much going on with that. And then all of a sudden they're like, in Fort Worth, it was like big news. It was like K2 ring busted at Ridgely Theater. So it was just Yo, like, my friend used to buy it from a guard. gas station. <laughs> dude, right. dude. Yeah. Easier that way. Like, yeah. Why? What the fuck? <laughs> like, I, don't, I didn't know it was that big of a deal. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> potpourri, man. That's all You're it right. is. Just potpourri. It's an you instance. Right? Yeah, dude. You should be smoking that shit. You know what I'm saying? Definitely don't smoke this, but get the orange the color or whatever it was. <laughs> what was the deal with K2 anyways, dude? What was appealing? Yo, uh, Every, everybody who smoked it would be like... I'm I'm seeing everything in 16 bit now or some shit, and you're like, that sounds not cool at all, dude. I don't think that should happen to your fucking brain, dude. <laughs> I got the guy at work. Um, he got really in. We have a meat counter, you know, at the at the butcher shop. And yeah, fucking, no. <laughs> uh, and uh, he uh, he fuck went and smoked some out in his truck, and he came back like 10 minutes later. It started flopping around on like a fucking fish out of water, dude, behind the meat counter. Just fucking like, like he was having a seizure, oh but God, he dude. he wasn't having a seizure, dude. He was just the the shit was like fucked him up so bad. It was hilarious. Nobody <laughs> it was hilarious. Dude. <laughs> oh, dude, I was like, fuck him. He wants to smoke that shit. Fuck him. He can sit there and shake for all I care. I don't give a fuck. fuck shake, 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 shake. Shake, shake, shake. I had a buddy and like his girlfriend <laughs> smoked it and then she just passed out like just like. Dude, Dead fish, yeah. not flopping. But Everybody was, would tell me that they were like terrifying stuff. Honestly. They were like, like "Yo, yes. I feel." They would smoke it, and they'd be like, "Oh yeah, I feel like I was in a box and I was trapped and like all this shit." And I'm like, nah, "Not like cool, man." These, you know, write a script about this shit. Don't smoke, fucking. I just drink a nice Bud Light. Just drink a Bud Light. Hey, you want a crap? 
I had a, that Bud Light I had a friend uh, <laughs> that told us uh, that he, he tried it and that he felt like a Lego person and he couldn't move his hands and he just would walk around real stiff arm for like I think it only lasts like thirty minutes or something. But well, there was salvia not very too, long right? at all. Oh, salvia. Is that, what it was? Yeah, that, salvia. Was, yeah, that yeah, sounds yeah. like salvia. Yeah, <laughs> salvia. Shit was dumb as hell. Just, just, yeah. just on the Ridgely thing. <laughs> I want to give a shout out to my homie that wrote an article about the festival that happened where all those dickheads started a fight. The sound guys started a fight with the bands, the bands, yeah. the bands, bands. go to magazine on Twitter board magazine. That's a homie. Uh, he, he's the editor of it. And he writes all the articles and takes all the pictures and stuff. So cool. go nice. read the article about Ridgely because fuck those guys. Ridgely, <laughs> not board magazine. Are we making another shirt? <laughs> Usually theaters going on another shirt. Dog. That's that's happening, <laughs> dude. I I will say this though. I saw the blood there one time with the with poison the well. And it, was fucking, it was dope. Okay. Oh, yeah. that was a good show. Oh, what year was that? <laughs> that was like fucking two thousand six, seven. Yeah, it was like, yeah. Like, yeah dude, it was, it's like prime I saw poison, Trivium. Right? <laughs> yeah, true. Over there, I saw cattle decapitation there, man. I saw some killer bands, dude. Yeah, I saw. Uh, wasn't there was a festival show when you know whenever festival tours used to happen? So it was like sick at like Taste of Chaos and shit like that. But uh, there was there was a tour that went through there that was like between the barrier to me, and it was like Fear Before the March of Flames. Oh, oh man! And like I don't know, there I think the lineup was like there was like eight bands or something, but those are the two that I remember the most. But at, that was at Ridgely, and you know it sucks to it sucks for any venue because we're like we're lacking on venues nowadays. You know what I mean? So it sucks Down for left and right, dude. Yeah. So it sucks for any venue that we could sit here and be like oh i remember seeing this band and you know and it's like whether ridgely sucked back then or not like dude there's nostalgia there and you know i've played there i've seen bands there we don't need you know people being like oh fucking we're, all the securities are gonna be dickheads if you fucking crowd surf it's a show there's gonna be crowd surfing you know like fuck off like if you if if you don't like what's going on you shouldn't be working there you know so i don't know <laughs> have you ever seen the movie barnyard when <laughs> when she looks out the window and yes. she goes she goes i saw a cow and she goes it's a it's a cow farm you're gonna have cows <laughs> it's a show you're gonna have crowds dude, yeah dude <laughs> that like, my, my wife and, my wife <laughs> yeah right yeah I, my my wife and i co- quote that movie all the time it's a cow farm. There's a cow farm. You're going to find cows outside. Cow- <laughs> that is the best analogy I have ever heard because that is no shit. It's a show. There's yeah. going to be cow surfers, but yeah. it needs to be said like that, Toby. That's yeah. all fucking saying. It's a show. It's a show. <laughs> all right. You uh, know, it's fucking hell. You know, I was just going to say the, the dumbest part about this is that about Six months ago, seven months ago, Knock Loose and Kublicon played there. And they were like, bands bands don't have crowd surfers. Other bands don't have crowd surfers. And it's like, I know for a fact that that Knock Loose and Kublicon show, they were yeah. fucking crowd surfers. Just fucking saying. I know that for a fact. So don't, don't, don't like it's something fucking new that just started happening at shows. Right, yeah. God, he's a fucking idiot. Jesus Christ! <laughs> hey, hey, I've got something. I've got something uh, for. Uh, I think this will fit for for the for the for the venue. Loser! You're a loser. Are you feeling sorry for yourself? Well, you should be, cause you are dirt. You make me sick, you big baby. <laughs> 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 